Hello. Today we'll discuss FUE punch designs. If you are interested in FUE hair transplantation, you will have come across different types of punches, different names, different brands that make, and it gets very confusing very quickly. So today, using the aid of animation, I will introduce a classification system that will hopefully make it very easy for you, the provider, or the patient seeking to have the procedure to understand what the different punch designs are all about in a very simple, digestible way. Thank you. FUE punches are classified in two main groups, rotary punches and non-rotary punches. Let's talk about rotary punches first, which are radial moving punches, can be classified in two different groups. Continuous rotation, which could be clockwise or anti-clockwise, and oscillation, which alternates in between clockwise and anti-clockwise. All rotary punches, either continuous rotation or oscillation, can also be subdivided in three groups according to their cutting tip. They can be sharp, blunt, or hybrid. On the sharp punches, the cutting tip faces the skin and goes parallel to the follicle. These can be outer bevel, inner bevel, or inner and outer bevel. Blunt punches, invented by Dr. James Harris, are also parallel to the follicle, with the cutting tip facing the skin. They can be rounded or flat. Hybrid punches, invented by Dr. Sanusi Umar, are a combination of a sharp and a blunt tip, where the sharp edge faces away from the follicle and the blunt part faces the follicle. There is an inverse relation in between the sharp edge and the blunt edge. Therefore, hybrid punches can be predominantly sharp where the outer wall meets the inner wall at a sharp cutting edge. Or they can be predominantly blunt where the dull section is accentuated to render the punch even duller. Hybrid punches can be predominantly sharp or predominantly blunt. Any of the sharp, blunt, or hybrid punches can also be accessorized by different features, such as serration, windowing, slitting, rooming, hex punch, or texturing, to mention a few. All these punches can form the family of the rotary punches. The other main group is the non-rotary punches, also called axial moving punches that consist on skin piercing prongs. Since there is no radial movement to aid in the skin penetration, these punches need to be sharp. Regardless of the mandatory sharp tip of these punches, the cutting edge may be either sharp or dull. These can be bi-pronged or multi-pronged and also can be flared or straight. Alike rotary punches, non-rotary punches can be accessorized by serration, windowing, slitting, rooming, hexed punch, or texturing, to mention a few. Both rotary and non-rotary punches can be used manually, where the punch is mounted on a handpiece and the rotations of the handpiece and punch are done by the operator. Or they can be used mechanically, where the punch is mounted on an electromechanically driven handpiece, which drives the punch. Thank you.